right now, what do you think? What do you feel? What do you know? Do you know what season is it, it is outside? Does anybody have to tell you that? Do you have to check the facts on the newspaper to know that in Colorado it's springtime? Do you have to check to make sure that you're awake? Did anybody have to tell you, by the way, you're walking around awake right now? These might seem like silly little things, but I am so aware of how much, I went to school for 12, 16, for 21 years to become a chiropractor. The amount of knowledge I had to remember, the amount of body of facts and information that I was responsible for was large. But no one was paying attention to what, what I already knew and what I know to be true now. There are levels of understanding that, you know, the first time you touch it, it's almost a, an awakening experience of I'm knowing something and no one can take it away from me. And there is this communion that is known when you're with someone who knows what you know. And then there is the communion and the function and the purpose of doing it together consciously. I have found that people who have come awake to the fact that they know who they are, they know they have a purpose, they know they are connected to other, other human beings, can then choose to be in their nobility for the rest of their lives, functioning in that sea of knowing, that sea of communion and connection, so that when we make choices and when we move forward, we're doing it consciously in our nobility and in our respect for the field we're all in and holding and loving. My field is your field. What I do in my life matters. What you do in your life matters, and it matters to the field we're holding. It, we get to generate a more powerful field filled with the cloud of glory and the light that glows because we know how this engineering works. Letting love radiate allows us to participate in that at a more active and conscious level. So thank you for knowing, thank you for letting me acknowledge I know what you know. 